Hi everybody. Happy Dolly Day 17. 17. 17. Uh, yes, I'm in the same outfit. I'm still in the doll room. Have my door for the background. Sabrina's now playing in the doll room. But um, I wanted to get what some videos. If I can get some videos done and I have the time and they're in my mind, I want to get them done. So as you guys can see, I have Kira here and she's in her Christmas outfit. This little dress or shirt, I go with it as more of a, like a tunic, uh, like a shirt. Um, I bought a Tinkerbell doll and this dress was on the Tinkerbell doll. So it's, it's not any, it's got no label. It just happened to be. Happened to fit her just fine. Happened to the 18 shawls. It was perfect for Christmas. And then the leggings that I made out of that scarf. The Santa Claus leggings. So Kira's all ready for Christmas. And I want to talk about Kira a little bit. Because as you know, she is the doll of the year for 2021. Almost over. Almost over. And um, Sabrina said that. <laughs> Sabrina said that. And I had gotten this book. We had, I showed it to you, Wombat Secret. It's about the animals in Australia. And if you saw her little short there, she was reading it to her dolls. Um, so, um, to her being koala bear. And if you know it, Kira's story, Bean is the koala that she takes care of in Australia. So, let me just, I wanted to read the story to you guys real quick. You live in Australia? <laughs> Do you? No, but Kira goes to Australia, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it says it's called Wombat Secret. You want to read it? Yes, I am. <gasps> That's cool. Are you going to come listen? I listen from right here. Okay. Well, let me read it then, okay? I can. Okay. One day, baby wombat saw the kangaroos sharing a secret. So if you ever wonder what a wombat looks like, there you go. Now you know. <laughs> The more you know. Okay. And here you can see the kangaroos and the little wombat. She wanted to know what what it was, but they bounded away. No, it says bounded. <laughs> she asked her mother, but she didn't know. So Baby Wombat ran as fast as she could to ask her bushland friends. So there's her mama. And there's the baby. And I don't think, and I'm not sure about this, I'm not correct, but I don't think they get much bigger than maybe a guinea pig. I've seen a guinea pig before. <laughs> she asked the platypus paddling in the creek. She asked the duck heading for a swim. Platypus, and these are all, of course, animals to Australia. She asked her spiky friend. Portuguese. No, she asked her spiky friend, the e, the Ichanda. And she asked the kookaburros if they knew the secret. I think kookaburros are so pretty. There's the um, Ichanda. I think is what it is. It looks like a porcupine. It looks like an anteater. It's got like an anteater nose. And then the porcupine kind of It's like things. if an, a porcupine and an anteater had a like child. Yeah. And there Oh, I've seen those before. Sabrina, please be careful. I fell. Sorry. I know. And there's the are you okay? Yeah, I got fart. <laughs> and the um Kookaburros, I love that name. And there they are, right? They're, they're so I pretty. I feel the bathroom, so I'm going to see them when I leave. Why do you have to say things like that when I'm videotaping? Because I have to use the bathroom. Oh, my goodness. She asked the shy koala hiding in the trees. She even asked the very tall emu if he knew the secret. So we have the koala hiding in the trees. And there's the emu. But nobody did. Baby Wombat sighed and scratched her soft fur with her claws, just like my dog does when I'm telling them to stop, stop, stop. <laughs> if she was going to know the secret, she would have to find the kangaroos and ask them herself. She looked everywhere, even in old hollow logs, 
think that kangaroo would fit in a hollow log. Can you tell I used to do story time? <laughs> At last, she saw some big kangaroos playing. They told Baby Wombat where to find the secret. So there they are playing. And there they are. I am she back. crept quietly through the bush and found what she'd been looking for. The secret. There she is. The secret. It was a baby wallaby ready to leave his mother's pouch for the first time. Hello, said Wombat. So a baby kangaroo is called a wallaby. Oh, that's cool. And there he is, ready to leave his mommy's pouch for the first time. You guys see it? And they became the best of friends. So maybe the wombats are bigger than, than uh, guinea pigs. Because look at him on top of that, on that uh, wallaby. He's looking a little bigger than I thought there. Uh, let's I've see. heard of wombats before, but I've never seen one. It says here, in Wombat's Secret, a little wombat learns that the kangaroos have a secret. She sets off to discover what it is, asking other animals she meets as if they can help her. The common wombat is a mammal that raises its young in a pouch that faces backwards. Interesting. They have poor eyesight and use their senses of smell to find food. Sounds like my min pin. She's going blind in her. She's an old girl. Wombats spend the day in a burrow and come out to feed on grass at night when the air is cool. They live mainly in the mountain areas covered with forests in southeast Australia. So we got to learn a little something about animals in Australia. And with Kira being our girl of the year for 2021. And unfortunately, Kira, your time is almost up. It's kind of like Miss America. Miss America. Anyways, I want to talk a little bit about Kira's. Kira is the girl of the year 2021. When they first started doing the leaks in um 2020, I wasn't. I saw her, I was like everybody else, blue-eyed blonde girl, you know, or blonde girl. She has, she has the green eyes, I think. Um, Courtney has blue-eyed blonde hair. <laughs> and yeah, I was I like, like the dirty brown. <laughs> I was, you know, I was with everybody else, but I think unfortunately my personality sometimes, I get caught up with other people and I'm um, trying to pull back a little. And so I got kind of caught up on the, oh, diversity, diversity, diversity. And then I got to remember, who owns American Girl? Barbie owns American Girl. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the commentary, the commentary section. Um, but um, Barbie owns American That's I mean, let's be honest. American Girl is owned by Barbie. Oh, come on, man. And how long has it taken Barbie to somehow get more diverse with their petite Barbies and their tall Barbies and their curvy Barbies and, you know, not just have their one model of Barbie. And that's only been the last five years, I want to say, that they started doing of those Barbies. Barbie's been around five years. It's been around, like, since 1994. Barbie's been... So, when people started saying, oh, diversity in the American Girl line, and she's another blue, blonde-haired doll, and so on and so forth, I started to think, you can't be upset with Mattel. It's like, it's like they made a big, big, 18-inch Barbie. <laughs> you can't really, I mean, it took them, it, it's, it's a company, it's a corporation. We know that. American Girl is, no matter how much we love them, how much we, we love our dolls, it's still a company. And um, as consumers, we have the right to show our 
voice our opinions. We have the right to show how we feel about a company with our pocketbooks, right? Or our purses or our wallets, depending on your age. <laughs> My grandma was a pocket, her pocketbook. So with Kira, I feel what happened with Kira. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think she's a beautiful doll. I think Kira, I love her hair. She's got, unfortunately, we really don't play with Kira very much. I think Kira gets lost in the shuffle. Um, hey, that is me. Well, I think she does. I think she gets I lost. I play with her. I think she gets lost in the shuffle with our oh, other dolls. Excuse me. I mean, her hair is still so perfect from when we took her out of the box in January. But I do like Kira, even though I'm saying what I'm saying. Kira is one of my favorite dolls. Well, actually, all my dolls are my favorite dolls. I love all my dolls. Um, our dolls. Our dolls. Our dolls. Someday my granddaughter's dolls are dolls. <laughs> um, but I think American Girl did her wrong. At least that's how I feel. I did her fingers. You did her fingers? Nail sticker. Oh, okay. <laughs> and in the caboodle. Uh... I feel American Girl did Kira wrong. Why? I think they started out with a good idea. They started out with a great... She has a great storyline going to Australia like to help save the animals from the the uh, bushfires. Uh, I like the fact that she has a... Uh, I hate saying it. I know it's true, but her aunts are lesbians. Uh, I think that's great, but I think when it came, the controversy of her being blonde hair and not being diverse and people being, oh, we need more diversity, we need more diversity, and they started coming out with the street sheep dolls with all the different color hair, and then they came out with uh, the World by Us dolls. I think Kira got pushed side at least that's how i this is this is my opinions this is how i feel don't come for me or if the comments are on be nice this is just how i'm feeling again as i said i love kira i think she's a beautiful doll i think if you don't have a kira you may want to look into an investing in a kira um when you look at her collection kira's collection wasn't very big compared to courtney well courtney's a historical doll which I understand why they have focused so much on Courtney being 1980. So many of us growing up, so many of us moms, well, grandmas, aunts, super cool in color. <laughs> growing up in the 80s. It's that demographic. They're playing into us. We're playing into them. The nostalgia, that whole thing. So I get that. But I think they did Kira wrong. I really do. She had her... Um, you didn't hear much about Kira after the new year. She didn't have extra clothes. She had a few outfits. She had her comfy ca camping set, which was to me a recycled um, Leah camp set. It was also Leah's was a recycled camping set that they had a camp, the camp tent that they had. And I just think they did not do her right her vet set her vet care center um it said if you guys saw we we were gonna make one i've seen a lot of people make them with other dolls we have um doc mixed stuff as we found that pet table that you could use to make a care vet set uh that we use for our our dogs and i just think when you look at the other girls of the year and their their um, reigns, just like you, Miss USA, Miss America, the year that they reign, the year that um, there is a lot going on. Even with, with, and I'm going to say her name wrong because I always do, Josh, 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 Josh. Um, even after, through her year, and she was 2019, I tell you about she was 2020, they came out, there was an exclusive cheer jacket for only AG members. There was an, ex I think it was the wetsuit was also something that was exclusive. But as the year went on, other things came out for her, which I thought was pretty good because it kept you interested in 
her her year, everything that was going on. And they say to Kira, after January, I mean, they came out with the the vet uh, tech. They came out with her vet outfit, scrubs, and the Joey um, pouch thing for her. But it's like it showed up in the catalog, it showed up on the website, but there really was not much talk about it. I know they had the her series on the AG uh, YouTube, and I've watched a couple of them, and they're really, really nice. But I just think they did her wrong. I think they kind of just left her, you know, at the wayside and started focusing more on, you know, getting... You know, oh, look at look at Lux. Look, look over here. Look over here. Don't look here. Because this is what we always give you. Look over here. We've got this. We've got these street sheet dolls with the blue hair and the purple hair and the green hair. And we've got the diverse, the world by us line coming out. And we've got um, the holiday celebration outfits, which I think are great. You, I, you guys have watched my video. Hopefully you've watched it. You know. But come on, she even though she's blonde hair, blue eye, I think she's a gorgeous doll. And I think American Girl did her wrong by not promoting her like they have the other girls. I, I really do. And again, that's my opinions. And that's why we all watch each other. That's why we all support each other. You know, we all have room for our own opinions. We all have room for um, our diverse opinions. Um, you know, uh, if we didn't have, if we didn't all have our own opinions and we didn't have, we didn't talk about them, how boring would our world be? I mean, let's be honest. Um, we don't need to argue and, and fight and, and that kind of stuff, but... Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Everyone's entitled to how they feel. Um, the doll world is a big world. It's a big world. You Like I said, uh, it's funny. It's a big world, but when you look at it, who owns the doll world? Mattel. MGA. Um, Moose Toys has a little bit. I mean, it's just, if you actually really look at the doll world, who are our big, our big doll people? But anyway. Um, I don't, and, and, and I apologize, I don't know about Reborns, how they work. I, from watching some of the videos and getting to learn a little bit more about the Reborn world, it looks like to me there are a lot of customs, and correct me if I'm wrong, I, I, I don't know a lot about it, but I love watching your guys' videos and learning about them. Um, but again, guys, that's just my opinions on Kira. I love her. I think she's a beautiful doll. If you don't have a Kira, think about investing in a Kira. She's beautiful. Her story is a great story. Great story about, um, I want to say humanity, but I mean, it's, it's just, I think Kira's got a great story. I think, um, you should, I think you should invest in a Kira. You know, that, that's just my opinion. Don't come for me. Thank you guys for listening. And I hope you're enjoying your Christmas time, your holiday time. Um, whatever you celebrate, whatever you don't celebrate. I hope you're, you know, enjoying your, your time. I hope you're being kind to yourself. And you're being kind to others. And you're giving yourself a hug. And you're telling each other what a great person you are. And um, just love yourself. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself a hug every day because I think about you guys a lot. You guys are great. Thank you so much for listening to my rants. Um, I'm again, I'm going on 20 minutes. I could go longer because I love talking to you guys. And from Kira Bailey, Girl of the Year 2021, have a happy and safe holiday. Like, subscribe, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye.